Meadowland is a independent drama. It's 90 minutes long, and it's about a married couple who loses their kid. Like, he goes missing, and then they never find him, and then they're just dealing with that uh, a couple of years later. This movie is definitely not for everybody. But unlike Carol, it's actually good. Meadowland stars Olivia Wilde and some other guy who looks like Christian Bale but sounds like Owen Wilson. He's really good in the movie, but Olivia Wilde is phenomenal. And the fact that frickin' Amy Schumer from Trainwreck... Alright, fair enough, I haven't seen it, but like, really? Let's... Okay, how about Spy? Melissa McCarthy. I saw her in Spy. She didn't deserve it. She got nominated for award. What about Olivia Wilde? Like... I thought, I thought awards and other reviews were a joke before. This, this movie isn't very plot heavy. It's simply Olivia Wilde and her husband and, um, they are, her husband's brother, uh, Giovanni Ripsy, plays a small part of the movie. He's like a recovering drug addict. But like, you know, a, a sympathetic recovering drug addict and not one that just irritates you. And it's just them kind of dealing with life after this. And that, that sounds like it's not enough to make a movie on. And that in this movie will probably bore some of you, but I want everybody to try it with an open mind. I want you to go in without expectations because this was by far one of the best movies of the year and it took me by such surprise. I saw a trailer for it on YouTube from movie clips like a long time ago and then I rented it on Vudu and I watched it and I'm like, wow, that was good. This movie is emotionally draining for sure, but unlike Southpaw, it's not just like beat you over the head with trauma. It's like, and your wife is dead, and now you're addicted to drugs, and now all your money's gone, and now all your friends hate you, and you suck, and you were beat up and left for dead in an alley. It's not like that at all. It's a very quiet, subtle movie. Like, there are a couple scenes with Olivia Wilde just in a yellow hoodie, just kind of walking around the city, and they have this, like, really good music playing, and I'm just like, this should bore me. But it's not, it, but it, it works. Like I said, Olivia Wilde is fantastic. Not only is she a ridiculously cute actress, but she's just like, so sad. And like, you just, you wanna just hug her and tell her it's gonna be okay. And there are parts of the movie where she's doing something and you're like, Olivia, no, 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 oh man. Like you can just kind of feel her life coming apart. Again, in a, in a sympathetic way, not in a super like, trauma shock heavy way and oftentimes in the movie she's just like wearing a towel or she's got like a t-shirt on and then no pants i mean the movie's modest about it there's only one scene of like sex and nudity and it is like important to the story i felt more closer to olivia wilde because of that it felt like more vulnerable and intimate and like I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. And I gotta talk about the music. Adam Taylor did the soundtrack. I couldn't find it on YouTube, and I couldn't find it on Spotify. It's amazing. It's that kind of like sometimes new age music and sometimes- You know that M83 song called Wait? It's a, it's like a little bit like that, but there's also like a lot of piano. Female singing, and it's- It's this really just like bittersweet, kind of sad. And the ending is like- it's like a scene like out of The Last of Us, and it's just so like, it's so perfect for this movie. And I really felt for Olivia Wilde, because like, when you're missing a kid, it's like, the worst part is not knowing. It's like, it would have been better to just know that he was dead, and then you'd have closure, and then you wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. But they never found him, and they have to like, deal with that worry in the back of her mind that some f***ed up psycho is still raping him every day. If I have one complaint about the movie, it's that the new kid at school that Olivia Wilde was kind of like helping out, he looked so much like her kid that she lost, I thought it was like a flashback of before they lost him, but it wasn't, it's a different kid, so that was a bit confusing at first. It's an indie movie for sure, It's it will not resonate with everybody, but I, I want you guys to try, just go in with an open mind, just give it a chance. Some of you are going to be like, yeah, that was boring and stupid and I really didn't care, and I, I'll understand that, but... I, I love this movie. I really did. And there are no other reviews about it, so no one else is talking about it. Maybe it'll be like Song of the Sea, where this video will get like thousands of views just because I'm the only damn person who actually review it. I gotta give Meadowland an 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and God bless.